There is no easy way. There is no easy way at all to talk about this today. First thing first, if you are from the family of or the peoples of PNB Rock, I want to send condolences. I want to send condolences. And if you are from the family or estate or people of PNB, I advise you not to watch this video. At least not today. If you want to watch it, you can bookmark it. Come back when you're when you're when you're not first day into the grieving process. Okay. This video and I'm gonna watch my mouth. But this video I'm sure will ruffle a lot of feathers. It will make a lot of people uncomfortable. I just don't think the family is ready to hear what I have to say yet. And PMB was a great, I mean, as far as I know, he wasn't gangbanging. He wasn't into anything that I know of. So I'm saddened. Before sitting and making this video, I was walking around pacing, like I, so, condolences, and yeah. this is me paying my respect. He was a good dude, from what it seems, on the public. And, you know, God takes the good people first. So have faith, may God strengthen your faith, and give you strength. Just know that he wouldn't have wanted you to be sad. Now when it comes to us as a people, there's a sickness that plagues us, a sickness that when someone like me, someone like Hassan Campbell, someone like uh, Charleston White, we come in and, and, and through different ways, you know, they all use different ways. I use different ways. Sometimes, you know, I use the comedy way, but today I am not here to make you laugh today. Today I'm here to make you think. And a lot of you don't like thinking. A lot of you are not ready to look in the mirror. That's why I said this will make a lot of people uncomfortable. Now, if you're not the family of PMB, today is your day to be uncomfortable. You gotta be uncomfortable. Let me just get into it. PNB Rock, Nipsey Hustle, Pop Smoke, XXX Tentacion, The list goes on. FBG Duck. King Vine. I'm gonna start with King Vine because he was one of the people who fueled the fire. I made two videos and my whole stance on the Kwando situation was me defending Kwando. 
First time around, I was telling Kondo to get out the, the gang situation. I was pointing out how, I, how, how stupid and idiotic it was to be in a gang and paying extortion fees, and which I'm getting, coming right to it. How, how, how stupid it was. I was just highlighting the obvious. The obvious that's in front of everybody. And I was surprised. I was, I was, you know, a lot of you guys who watch me, we share the same mentality. So a lot of you guys understood where I'm coming from. But a lot of people didn't. And I found myself getting attacked and whatnot. And I found him getting attacked. Notice how, as black people, when someone does good, or tries to do good. He wants to lead a gang. He's done. No, you can't leave. Oh, how are you gonna leave? Ha ha ha, your homie got popped. I've dropped the video where I've I've went hard at Fuyo. Eh. Fuyo was one of the dudes when Kondo's homie got popped. He was laughing and, and saying, your homie got popped and now you want to quit? Ha, ha, ha. But the day I tagged him, in it, which he's seen it. Hasn't said nothing, but he's seen it. And, you know, me curiously on Instagram, I clicked the circle story. And I see, I see a different side of Fuyo. One that I'm not used to. The human side of him saying that this rap stuff is getting scary. He's right. It is getting scary. Thank you, Fuyo, for being a human being. And, and, you know, a lot of you got to put on this, this, this. I'm not going to say image. Because it's beyond image. This is the with the. I mean, yes, an image, but not, not a music image. Of just an image all day. Tough guy. I don't smile. Yeah. I hate the word toxic masculinity, but I don't know if this is it. I don't, because. At the end of the day, when you guys talk about rappers on in the media, as fans, when you telling rappers like type in the comments, ha ha ha, oh now you're gonna leave, ha ha ha, you can't leave now. Nah. They're gonna get you. Why won't you slap for him? You gonna let him disrespect you like that? There's an element of dehuman dehumanizing these people. There's a disconnect between the viewers and the, 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 the rappers. As a rapper, you gotta understand this is no free pass of, of responsibility. The fans, the rappers, the media, and the old heads, these four are all responsible for this, for this atrocious sickness that plagues our community. We are more dangerous to each other than COVID-19. We are more dangerous to each other than what's got us in a pandemic. As a rapper, you engaging in these beefs. See, let me tell you something. This is why I defend Kwando. Kwando is just trying to feed his family. 
I don't see him starting stuff, trouble, starting beef. The day King Von ran up on him, and what, what ended up happening to King Von, if you ask me, I would have done the same thing to King Von. Free the guy who took out King Von. From, I mean, it seems that's what that's what it is. Quando was on his way home. He was out giving money, or whatever he was doing. Nonetheless, he was out not bothering nobody, not trying to go beat somebody up for clout. Vaughn was. Vaughn went out his way to go do that stupid, stupid-ish. And he got popped. It's sad, yes. The Dirk, I understand it's sad. But you got to excuse Kwan, though. Because, see, I seen, I was seen it on Snapchat Explore. And I don't know if it's true or some white people stirring up stuff for, for, for media attention. This is why I blame the media and the fans. You guys are grown men, adults, going led by your emotions, not your logic, your emotions, committing heinous, atrocious, sometimes unforgivable acts that could land you life. Electric chair, Rico. In Arabia, if you if you take a life, they take yours. And they do it in public on a Friday. They chop your head off on a Friday to make an example. I wish they did that where you at least it would be less heinous, senseless violence. Back to Dirk. I'm gonna pretend what I see on Snap Explorer that Kwando is begging Dirk for his life is true. I don't know if it's true. I haven't seen any official statement or, or, or Kwando posting nothing. But I'm gonna pretend it's true for the sake of what I'm about to say. Because if it's true, Dirk, if that man begged you for his life like that and you still went after him and did him, nah, that, that won't be right. Dirk, if you still went out your way to hurt Kwando for what happened, you gotta let it go. Yes, you gotta let it go. You gotta not seek revenge on it. You are not an old black anymore. You understand what I'm saying? Slide for him, slide for that. The fans in these comments that are typing this are white kids from suburbia. They look at you like animals in a zoo. You know how people have cockfights? I put money on this chicken, I put money on that chicken. Horse racing, squid games. I put money on this horse, that horse. As a matter of fact, they, they look at you like the elites in Squid Games. This is literally it. The elites in Squid Games sit there comfortably. These are the fans. The white kids from the suburbs who are disconnected from the harsh realities that you got to endure. The, the families around you got to endure. Every time you say, I'm smoking Tuca or whoever. Have you watched Tuca's mom interview? Tuca was a casualty of war. He wasn't gangbanging. He was a kid coming home from school. His mother, a black woman, looks awfully a lot like mine. The 
pain you guys gave her. Sickness, pure sickness. When people try to tell me, like, when I defended Kwando, oh, but he wasn't crying when he happened to Vaughn, uh, uh, or he wasn't, uh, uh, or that you think it's somehow, like, what you're telling me basically is that it's okay for him to. Go and, and, and take a life or have his life taken because no, nah, it has to stop somewhere. If we go by your logic, we should let all the, 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 the predators out. The, the word P and it ends with edophiles out. We should just forgive them because it's okay to, 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 to be a perv and, and creep and, and molest since it happened because most, most of these predators are victims themselves. So if you go by your logic, it's okay to touch or, or be perverted or whatever it is because you've been touched once as a kid. It's not okay. It is not okay to take a life because somebody took your homie's life. I've had people take my homies' lives before. I know the feeling of wanting to, I wanted to take revenge. But I'm happy I haven't. Not only for my own freedom, but just, in, if we go by your logic, we're gonna be popping each other in squid games forever. And there is no winner. It's just trauma and tragedy and, 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 and you, the one that's telling me this nonsense, you don't live there. If you lived in the middle of O Block, you had to go to work or you had to go to school or you wasn't in that nine to five life or school life. Maybe you were trapped and just trying to get your money. You're just trying to make your little money. But you got to live between warfare to the same degree as Iraq warfare. You wouldn't have the attitude of, it's okay to go slide because it slid on him. The only people who have that are the stupid fans who are, again, disconnected from the harsh realities, the cold realities. The guy in the comments typing, why wouldn't you slide for him? Why wouldn't you do that? He types that comment. He goes, hey, Todd. Dinner is ready. Okay, mom. Why well, won't you slide for him? Eats his nice little dinner, chicken dinner, whatever he eats. He goes back in bed, tucks it in, goes to sleep. Not a word, not a care in the world. Meanwhile, Tuka's mom, or today's, and this is today, I'm gonna use him as an example. This is why I said don't watch if you're his family. PMB Rock's mom has to go to bed tonight with that thought. You never felt grief, I can tell. A lot of y'all, maybe you felt it. Especially that first day of grief, it hits hard. You feel like you can't move. Somebody you love and care about is gone. You But no, we should go by your logic. You great, amazing genius. Where have you been? We needed you. Oh, no, it's okay. It's, guys, it's okay to take a life because he took stupid logic. Flawed logic. Nothing you said makes sense. Don't ever get in my face and try to justify why we should keep popping each other or why I'm wrong because I'm telling you we should stop popping each other. This is sickness. Pure sickness. You guys are sick. If we go by your logic, we should let out the, the, the predators and let them predate because it's okay. It happened to them before. You get it?
Look at the rock artists, the pop artists, Justin Bieber's of the world, the, the white musicians. Being a white musician is just being a musician. Being a black rapper is like signing up for, 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 for never ending nightmares. Not only you gotta worry about your own hood or people coming to pop you out of jealousy sometimes, like today with PMB Rock over some waffles. This man didn't pass away because of waffles. 6ix9ine, you need to stuff your stupid rainbow mouth with some rainbow skittles to the uh, marshmallows and to the to the to the point where you can't breathe and suffocate and in peace because you bring to the world nothing positive but BS. You are clowning the passing of another man senselessly. By the way, that man was never in, in, in any, as far as I know, in any gang. He might have called you a snitch while he was alive, but guess what? You are a snitch. Tattletales, you you proud of it. 6 not before you open your, your ugly mouth again, okay? Before you open your pothole to speak on a on a death of another black man again. Mr. Tattletales, I want to remind you something. You signed up to be in Treyway. Nobody forced you to be there. When times got tough, you told and folded. Yes, they robbed you. Yes, they did what they did. But you were in the life, weren't you? People got hurt because of you while you was active. Don't, don't play. I'm just a musician. So now that you got in the pressure and you came out clean and, you know, a year later, there's black men who their whole, the biggest mistake they made is knowing you. Sin they were doing 40 years, 20 years. Before you open your pothole again, realize who you are. You're a civilian. You have no business talking how you talk. No one believes you're a gangster. No one believes you're a tough guy. You need to shut up. If you have nothing positive to say, if I was you, and I got put in a position you did, and I did what you did, at least I would be trying to spread some positive message afterwards, right? The guy that got locked up, and now he's like, man, I had enough of the gang life. It never happened to me, yet I'm coming here and, and, and taking on that, that burden. Not an easy burden. So 6 9 you need to eat some, some, I want to tell you to eat something you know very well. This is YouTube. You need to eat that thing and shut your pothole. Shut up. And this goes for any rapper, any self-proclaimed tough guy on the internet. You would not have that same energy if it happened to you. Kwando was a casualty of war. He wasn't seeking trouble. Trouble came to him. He dealt with it as a man should. Forget gangster, forget gang. He got dealt with. Self defense. Vaughn went out there seeking BS and he got it. He got it. He got exactly what he was seeking for. Live by the sword, uh, by the sword. Again. I don't want to hear anybody open their pothole and tell me that, or try to come up and try to justify the violence. There is no justification. Dirk, if you're watching this, if what they're saying is true and Kondo is begging you for his life, you need to let him go. You need to forgive him. Because your twin, King Von, you knew him very well. You knew him more than I know him. I'm just a guy on the internet. You knew his character. You was with him since since O Black, since the O, right? Throwing up whatever y'all was throwing up. I don't know. You know the packs he smokes. 
the packs. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that probably never made public that are just speculations. So you know, you know, you know your friend very well. If my friend skydives all the time, and one day he passes away from a skydiving accident, as sad as it is, to a certain degree, he brought it upon himself. He was working a dangerous job. If my friend jumped out the plane as a skydiver with no parachute, passed away, my friend, you did it to yourself. Your friend Vaughn went up there seeking trouble and got it. He's the Mr. Pack Smoker. He went up there trying to fight. You telling me Mr. Pack Smoker wants to come here and fight me? I wouldn't trust it either. I would have done the same thing. And you, Dirk, if you were in that mass shoe, the same thing would have happened. Now, for the time being, right now, you are rich. You're not an old black anymore. You are rich. You are. All the other, all the other are rich. I shouldn't have to tell you this. Your goal was always to get out the hood. As long as you got, I seen the interview with Gilly. You had the whole. 30 dudes with you. 30 dudes with you. Understand something. You catch a Rico for doing anything stupid at this point in your career. I heard you broke up with India. I don't know. That's not my, I'm not here for that. But let's, let's pretend India is still with you. You get that Rico and go in. The 30 dudes, especially the ones who had close contact, they're going to be the first to slide in that DM of India. I'm going to let you know right now. You're, you're, you're a celebrity. Live the celebrity life. Feed your family and shut up. Feed your family and keep, keep the strap in your, only for protection. Feed your family and, 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 and get away from the, from the stupid mentality of, I slide, we sliding. You don't have to prove a point that you're tough to anybody. Right? You're from old block. If you try to keep up impressing these suburbia fans who keep telling you to slide and, and take lives, you're going to be, you're going to be, you know exactly what you're going to be. I don't have to say it. You, you guys are grown men at this point, bro. The fact that I have to say it is crazy. And this is a black people issue. We are, we turned into squid games. I don't see any white celebrity going through this. This is black rappers. X, Nipsey, Pop Smoke, Brock, Tupac, since the night. Young Dolph. What's going on? Being a rapper is now more dangerous than being a firefighter. Statistically, with the numbers, you, <laughs> even the small no-name rappers are getting popped out of jealousy. Because some guy want to prove he's the big bad boy. Uh, like an X situation, you had the money, took the money, Take the money and go. At least it'd be a robbery. He don't care about the money. He would have took the L. But now you have to pop him? Wow. Before any of you that was trying to justify what happened. If you guys carry that mentality and feel like you gonna have to slide and do that. I want to remind you something. Time heals everything. The harshest of pains, time will heal. So whatever it is, you about to go slide and take a life over right now. Whatever it is, no matter how extreme. 
Give it a year. You won't think about it. Give it two years. You won't, you won't cross your mind, rarely. Maybe in the form of PTSD, but it won't cross your mind to the degree you think. It won't cross your mind, barely. Rondo number nine, serving how many years? 80 years, 40 years? He's serving 80 years because he took the life of a cab driver over some argument, heated argument, right? This is like year six, I think, uh, into his sentence. Whatever that cab driver did that night to anger Rondo and make him want to pop, this is year eight. Do you think he still cares about what the cab driver did to hurt him? Do you still he think do you still think matters to him? It still matters to him? No. It doesn't matter. He could have let it go. But he didn't. When you wake up today and go to do whatever you do about enjoy your day in the free world, he wakes up in the middle of whatever jail he's in, whatever prison. And he's not coming out tomorrow. He's not coming out next week. He's not coming out next month. Nor yet next year. He got 80 years. Life expectancy of people, especially with the health and, and the stuff they do. It's not 80 years, 70. So just think about that before you go and make any heinous, atrocious acts. Remember this video. That's if he survives 80 years because you might not make it that long inside. You, you might not go via natural causes. Karma might come back to bite you. Maybe the frustration that caused you to act out in a free world will cause you to act out in the not free world where there is people just like you who also don't value human life. And guess what? So you might not even make it to 80 years. You might not make it 40 years to get parole possibly. Use this. Rappers are not a role model. Rappers themselves need a role model. An actual positive role model. Dirk, you gotta let it go. Someone has to forgive and end the cycle. Otherwise, it's gonna be endless. You're gonna go get him. <laughs> He's gonna get one of yours. You keep, you gonna get him. He gets one of yours. When does it end? It will end with somebody getting you or you getting him. <laughs> How many fatherless children have you created in the process? How many grieving mothers have you created in the process? You're not going to be in your 20s forever. You're not going to be 18, 19. You're not going to be 20. You're not going to be in your 20s forever. I was saying that I ran out of storage video cut off. I don't edit out anything. Test. Now, you're not, you're not going to be in your 20s forever. Whatever it is, it got you about to make a life changing decision of ending another man's life. You better rethink it because whatever it is, it won't matter. The people you're trying to impress in the here, not right now, you're trying to prove your, 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 you're trying to prove your G to, 
they don't care about you all that much. If they did, they wouldn't let you do that. Do do that. They would never encourage it. I gave Jay Stone and Fulio a piece of my mind for simply encouraging or, or going with the like, bro. Jay Stone, you're old, and this is what I hate, bro. Coming up, I never had. I had one or two. But the old heads, the OGs, the big homies, I never see them weighing in for some positivity. It's always weighing in with some BS. Unless you want to wake up at 40 years old and end up like your big homie that's still on the block, by the way. Or if not in a, on, a, on a block, encouraging the stupid mentality that keeps you in a loop of boom, boom, boom. A war. A civil war. Unless you want to end up like him. What was his achievements in life? What's got you looking up to him? The fact that he got locked up. If you don't know nothing about being locked up, allow me to tell you, how tight is your, cause you're gonna have to stuff a lot of stuff in and I'm just keeping it a hundred with you. Not only is that gonna be your new closet, watch Hassan Campbell. Not only is that gonna be your, 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 your locker, like the locker room, somebody might come in and try to take your manhood. Think about that. These guys that are bragging about be walking a yard and, and that's nothing to brag about. Show me an LLC. Show me show me some some success. Getting locked up is nothing to brag about. These big homies that you got, most of the times are the reason you are where you are. They take advantage of you. They recruit you to the gang. They have you believe in stupid mentalities. That, yeah, it's okay to go and kill your fellow black man. But guess what? When you go do that, you're benefiting him. A lot of times he sends you to do the dirty work that he won't do himself. Your OG, your big homie, your gang founder or leader. But such as Larry Hoover, when he's gone and he's locked up or whatever, or even passed away in some cases, you're left with the with the PTSD and the trauma that he put in you. And you're left with that in you fighting another guy down the block from oh black 63rd who cares bro none of you own not even forget it not even an apartment in old black you don't even own shares in the stocks of old black old black just got sold who's the buyer who's the seller Two rich white men. One rich white man to another rich white man. The only thing you did to Oblak was drive the price down. Make it cheaper for the buyer. You turn it into a haunted house. You know, like somebody's trying to sell off a haunted house. How many lives got claimed? You guys got old black chains, but you don't own an apartment in old black. These people don't like what I'm saying. It makes them, it makes the ruffles, their feathers. They don't like what I'm saying because it forces them to look in the mirror. But then you, a guy comes up and says, Oh, AK, nah, what you saying is stinching. You can't come to my city. Let me tell you something. You don't own 
You don't even own an apartment. Let alone, let alone a black or a city. You don't own an apartment, an apartment in your city. F a house, an apartment in your city. You don't own, uh, you can't come to my city. You, you banned from my city. You don't even own an apartment in your city. The only thing you own is the pair of Jordans on your feet, the blunt you smoke it on, the backwood or whatever, swisher, I don't know, I don't smoke blunts. The lean that you sipping, maybe a chain with the hood name on it, or a fallen soldier who got claimed by the stupid mentality that I'm talking against, that I'm trying to save you from, sir. You don't own an apartment. The only thing you own is the pair of Jordans on your feet. You telling me I can't come to your city. I go wherever I want to go. And I'm not a gangster. I'm a civilian. But I'm not one of, don't take me for one of these Trap Lord Ross or shout out to him. Or DJ Academics, the PNA. I love the PNA, but I am no P. I'm no cat. You know the P with the cat? It's YouTube. Don't tell me I can't. I'll go wherever I want to go. When you own at least 20% of the land in your city, then ban me from it. Then I'll respect it. Until then, you can't come to my city. That's your accomplishment in life? Telling me I can't come? Okay. Let's say I don't come to your city. You stay in the city. But you know what? Keep propagating the, the BS. Keep taking one, one another. Keep living this, this real life squid games. Realize this, as a black man, let's say, let's say today you're a rapper, right? You blow up. Fame, money, etc. F rap, let's say you won the lottery. Lottery, I play, I don't play it. Let's say you won the lottery. What are you gonna do the first thing? You're gonna move from 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 the from, you're gonna move away far as, as far as possible from the hood. That's what I did. And I don't regret it, but why is that? Because your biggest threat now is not <laughs> you guys keep talking about police brutality. We'll get to it. It's not right. But before we get to it, I don't wanna hear you complain about police brutality. If you are propagating the BS or justifying taking another black man's life, I don't give I don't give a F. I don't care. If police seeing you value each other's lives and not play squid games with each other, sometimes without a reward, just out of jealousy. If the if the if the white police Okay, I see you value your own life. Maybe they'd, va maybe they'd respect your, your life as much. Maybe they wouldn't step on your neck like Jordan Floyd. So we have to value our own lives before we expect anybody else. If you don't keep your house clean, I walk in your house, it's trash all over it. Roaches on the floor, cigarette butts. Uh, uh, drink spilled from last week is still there. Trash bags on just not even trash, just trash in, in the ground. You you eat, you spit on the. You know, if I walk into your house and I see a trash, kind of like a like a abandoned house, you know, where they go to shoot up the fiends. Do you think I'm gonna walk in and be like, oh, let me not turn off this the cigarette butt here? I'm gonna no, of course not. I'm gonna flick it wherever because it's. it's if I walked in and I seen a nice clean house, I wouldn't flick, I wouldn't even light up inside your house. We have to break these cycles. Us, the white man, you keep blaming the white man. The white man is not gonna stop the violence for you. You want him to? It's not gonna be. It's not going to be nice if he does it. It's going to be intrusive. It's going to be the military in your hood. You have to do it.
change starts with you. If you're one of these guys in the hood right now, and instead of walking outside and trying to take the ops out today, maybe today take a break. Maybe make a change. Maybe announce the change on social media. You're going to get clowned like me. But you have to. It takes one guy to wake up and wake the next and wake the next till we're out of this mess that we're in. And I say it again, I got this from my son, Campbell. I'm not original, but the message is the message. <laughs> Systematic injustice is going on in the system. Systematically. Okay. There's a reason your community is in poverty. The poverty that's leading you to, to all this nonsense in the first place. You don't want to fix that. You just want to go in and... You're only tough with another black man. Enough of that. How many more lives need to be claimed for you to wake up? Even being black and successful, you go to Los Angeles, Hollywood. And you're met with extortion rings. Check in, check in. It's over. So the feds, they they so they always going after like, I don't go on the dark web, but I hear I read news, right? There's a site called Darknet Live for the news. They're always going, this drug dealer, this not. Uh, listen, these are people who are, I'm not justifying it. But at least it's not violent, okay? It's on the internet. You guys just on the internet going after these guys. There's killings and, and, and extortion rings running around Los Angeles, Hollywood. Quando's homie that got did, it wasn't in the hood. May I remind you, it wasn't in the hood. It was in, in next to, I don't know the ma's name, but it was a, it was a popular ma. In Beverly Hills or Los Angeles. Hollywood, the movies. This can happen right there. And I don't never call for, for a man being put in, in, in a box, in a bin. But at this point, Something has to change. And it starts with you. These chemtrails, this poison that's coming out now in the water, the purge, the whole goal is to get rid of you. Back then, they had to with a noose, right? The Klansmen and all of them, right? Right now, modern day, you're doing it for them. You're exterminating one another for them. They don't even have to do anything. They just got to sign and influence the pop culture. And Hollywood has a lot of gatekeeping going on. So if you're trying to be a rapper, I got news for you. Even if you manage to get your own following and, and, and get to the point where, you know, big enough on your own, you still want, you won't be allowed to go mainstream. Even if you had the whatever funds, you won't go there unless you sign and join the, 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 the Hush Hush Club, you know? Where you gotta promote certain agendas and whatnot. And if you don't, if you don't reach, if if you get big, you spreading positivity, you're gonna be overshadowed and, and pushed to the side. Even if you had your own cult following pushing you, like an NBA young boy. So understand this.
Don't think you're going to get big and not sell your soul. Figuratively speaking. If you don't sell, sign the, the pit, dotted line. They'll make you sign it. They'll have somebody. Yes, on camera. And blackmail you for it for the rest of your life. I spoke about it. Now there's people speaking about it from within the industry. When they talk about sacrifice, they might put you in a weird position where maybe frame you to a, 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 a you're fighting an M1 a murder. They're framed by them. And the only way for them not to to prove your innocence or whatever, or not go for it with it, is to have you sign on a dotted line. So no matter how big you get on your own, you got to join the club. Like I was saying, you got to join the club. The club where you will be assigned an agenda to promote whether you like it or not. That club is the reason only certain messages and, 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 and certain things are being promoted, not others. The club that made Dave Chappelle move to Africa. You understand me? I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but based on the facts presented so far in my life. I know that club is real because I came face to face with the, I'm not gonna talk too much, it is what it is. And I ended up quitting rapping. It is what it is. So, when you look back at it, and they tried to destroy the black family and put white in the hood. You know what I'm talking about. Who put it there? It was the government. Documented facts. What was the goal of putting it in the hood? The goal that was second to profiting. It was to destroy the black family and get rid of you. Have you... That wasn't that long ago. The, the crack era is not that far back. Right or wrong. So be mindful before you go and take a life over some BS. Or when you're hating on a, on a black man simply because you, you, you don't think that. It. And if you're on top, you made it, you flex it. Like you're a millionaire. Young Thug, White Fan Lucci, two millionaires, both sitting in jail because the millions the millions weren't enough to say, you know what? I want to live the, the, the good life. I've had enough of, of, of the bad life. No, it wasn't enough. You don't see Elon Musk pulling up with the FN on Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos sending the goons out. That's only us to each other. Even after the millions and millions, still doing it. You threw away. Listen, if you don't want the millions, you don't care. About, give it to me. I'll take it from you. Because at least I know I'd live a better life with it. I'd feed the family. I'd focus on the right things. I'd influence people right. You yourself were influenced wrong. Even with the millions, you chose to throw it all away. And when you, when you dissect the beef, this deadly beef that left innocent bystanders, children sometimes, hit. It all started over what? 
over a girl in jealousy. Bravo. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about something real. It wasn't about nothing. Just, just a girl. Young Thug, I like your music. I never listened to Luti much besides the one he had with PMB Rock. But if it's true that the reason both of y'all are gone, then maybe, 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 maybe that Rico wasn't so bad, okay? At least it was good on you and not someone who's nonviolent. As much as I like your music, as much as I want to say free thug, I can't. I can't. There's kids that look up to you. Kids that are, are going against logic defending you. Against logic. You guys are trying to justify to me why it's okay to end Kondo's life. Kondo said, I'm done. I'm done. He had to go to the funeral of his homie. He had to watch his homie get popped. One, he had to go to the funeral and look at the family of his homie. Give him probably, they said he was cool, but he was, he was, he was anxious about going because obviously they're going to blame him for it. It happened because of you. But y'all want to convince me that, no, nah, you can't take your flag off. You got to keep going with the, with the, with the buffoonery. No. Nah. Don't, don't sit here and try to justify that to me ever in your life. Something is wrong with you. If you're going to sit here and justify it, you're either trying to prove to me that you're tougher than me or that you're a tough guy and you know the street. I'm from the same streets as you. I carry the same mentalities that you got. When I tell you forgive him, forgive him. If you don't forgive him, and you want to go slide, and the Rico comes knocking, don't blame anybody but yourself. Your solution to this ordeal that we're in, as a people, as a community, endless, senseless bad cycle, is to keep it going. Okay, that's going to stop it. That's excellent. Bravo. It's okay. It's okay to take life because... He's, he's a good rapper. Okay. Wow. Okay. These NPCs will sit here and justify to me why, 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 why. Listen, two things. Like, some acts are just unforgivable, bro. Like, it's hard to forgive, bro. Again, you are going to bed now. Probably it's foul. Fine. Nothing wrong with you. Whatever is going on in your life, I don't know. But this man here, his family has to go. They're probably having a hard time sleep right now. They're still in shock. They're probably still in denial about it. A, a father, a son got taken. Nipsey Hussle, same thing. He was a positive individual. People are speculating. There's two narratives out. One, his girlfriend let the location out. Two, it was extortion. He didn't pay. He didn't check in or pay the extortion money, so they checked him out. Three, it was random waffles, jealousy, a uh, big rich rapper, uh, yeah, pop. All three of them, they were, listen to me. I was arguing with my little brother. I'm not going to say his name. And I love that dude. I got love for him. But even he carries that mentality. So I be telling him, bro, he was trying to basically justify what happened to, to Kwando. As in like, oh, I agree. But Kwando didn't seek out any BS. 
The real problem was with Dirk and the self-proclaimed biggest op. I don't listen to Dirk. I don't listen to Von. I don't listen to Quando even. Or 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 the definitely not NBA young boy. When I started to cover this story and dig deep into it, I realized Kondo was just trying to go to work, work to home. His only mistake is being associated with the biggest op. That's his only, that's his, he's a casualty of war. That's that. That's enough to warrant a death sense, census on him. Or we don't even know if it's that for sure. It could be LA thing, politics. Again, white people don't have to go through that. Only us. Only us get rich or famous, and we have to, like Hassan said, beg for our our, our life from these extortionists. And these gatekeepers, we gotta bend and, and maybe have to do some some acts of the rainbow coalition or or or, or maybe sacrifice. Why do we this is just us? Wake up. Wake up. What Kondo did is right. I'm pretty sure he watched my video. I could be wrong. But he took the, 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 the good message. He quit. You still after him? Leave him alone. He never went out his way like your homie did. Forgive him, Dirk. For the rest of y'all, that really took packs, turned people to packs, I hope you wake up and realize and just... If you're lucky enough to be in a free world still, don't go and do it again. Maybe speak out against it. Because you yourself are sick. You can't tell me that you just you took a you took a life and you just live your life normal every day. That's, that lingers in the back of your head, definitely, I'm sure. I never took a life. But I know it lingers. That's why it becomes part of your character. Like, yeah, I'm a stepper. Yeah, I'm a hitter. No. You're just you just you just sick, bro. And only you can make the change you want to see. Don't be selfish and think with your emotions like a female. Think about the children. Think about tomorrow's generation when you're putting out these messages. Okay? I'm gonna wrap it up. This was hard to make and cover and, and research and all of it. But it was necessary. If your OG is justifying the the the, the taking he's not a good he's not a good example. If he was, he wouldn't be in a hood with you telling you this nonsense. Extorting people or, or still trapping, doing whatever he's doing. The goal was always to get out that situation. And when you get out, you have a moral responsibility of speaking out against nonsense. You can still be a rapper. You can still be a tough guy. But say what's, what's right. Don't propagate the nonsense. Because people suffer at the end. And we suffer. We've suffered enough slavery, whatever. We wake up as a black man, discrimination, brutality from the police. And on top of all that, oh, I got to worry about you too? Someone who looks like me instead of so. Video cut off, man. But anyway, I, get, I ran out of stories. It's a sign from God, man, you know? I'm just gonna wrap it up, say what it needs to be said. Hit the like button, smash subscribe, 
It's your boy AK, man. Rest in peace to uh, PMV Rock and other uh, uh, the victims of senseless violence. It's up to you to stop it. You, not some activist, not some politician. You. I'll leave you with that. Take care. Be safe tonight. Peace out.